Pastor Bob, have you not noticed how divorces increased, how people are aborting children, how uh, sodomy is on the uprise? Isn't that the last sign before destruction, Pastor Bob? Weren't we told to have a modest living as a pastor and not to make merchandise of God's people? Pastor Bob, I have a sneaking suspicion that this Bible tells me you're a liar. Pastor Bob, how come you're standing on the pulpit and all the people are not prophesying and praying and and uh, and uh, acting like the Acts Church did? But because you don't rightly divide the word of truth, you're not going to understand that. And with all stubbornness, with all stubbornness, you reject it. This is already prophesied. You were told this already. In fact, there's a reason why Revelation chapter 10 verses 9, 10, and 11 says, John, you will prophesy again in front of many nations, tongues, and kings. These parents, these parents in the world right now, if I can speak frankly, piss me right off. It infuriates me that they lie to their children about Satan claws, and, and I was like this when I was 20 even. And they still expect them to believe that Jesus saved them. How does that make any sense? They're, you're, they're telling these people that this is how wicked they are and not to recognize it. God hates a liar. Yeshua hates hypocrites. And even in this very simple philosophy, they're telling their children that Santa is real. They're telling them that Jesus is real. Then they find out that they lied about Santa Claus. How are they going to believe in Jesus? And there's your result. Meanwhile, his name ain't even Jesus. You see? That's how simple it is. That's how infuriating mad I am at parents that won't tell their children the truth and then they expect different results. And you know, and women, older women, are so adamant about having things their way in their emotions. Only men voted. Men looked after these things in the house, they, the, these, these uh, particular matters, because they didn't act upon their emotions. Why do you think the the world's the way it is? That's part of the reason. That's part of the dynamic. Or Ashura is an ancient Mesopotamian and Babylonian god of fertility. To worship Ishtar, Babylonian priests would impregnate virgins, then wait a year to kill three months old babies to dip eggs in the blood of the sacrificed baby. She is actually mentioned in the Bible as Ashura and Queen of Heaven. Ishtar plays a big role in any conception. And Romans 11 told you, don't you ever do what the northern kingdom of Israel did, which was worship that Asherah bull. They learned the ways of the heathen. For the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. But he that is the minister of God to thee for good, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he bears not the sword in vain. And all you people in the apostate church don't listen to the word of God at all. Zero, zilch, nada. You made up your own gospel. That's your own fault. I'm not telling you this because I think you're going to repent. I'm telling you this so when it happens, you know that there was a prophet in your midst. You enter into their work, you reap what they sow, and that's loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind because all the prophets already told you the story. Seek him that maketh the seven stars of Orion and turneth the shadow of death into morning and maketh the day, day, day dark with night and calleth for the waters of the sea and pour them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. You're a faithless, perverse generation. There's no faith in you. Those of us who know the prophecies, we tell you what we're not supposed to do. Don't do this. Don't do this, don't do this, and you do it anyways. Because you're arrogant. You can't understand Romans 13. You can't understand second what is it, second Peter chapter two, he talks about it, or the book of Jude. Because you're brutish. You're brutish and you won't listen to the word of God. This is your curse. When he sends you the strong delusion, because you didn't listen to what his word said about following the holy covenant. You're not going to be able to hear what Romans 13 is even talking about. Your children are going to get dashed to pieces. The punishment is all through the scriptures about what's going to happen to you because your wicked ears will not listen to the word of God. Hold up, Christian church. You think you're getting pre-trib rapture. You think peace, peace, and there is no peace.